right, Veronica. Well, if our next guest looks familiar, it's probably because you've seen her on TV shows such as True Blood to NCIS to my favorite Rizzolian Isles to Grace. I, the list just goes on and on and on. <laughs> of course, now you can find her playing Lieutenant Nora Salter in the recently internationally released Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Welcome Call actress and DC native Jamie Hyder. Hey. hey. This is like old home week for you. Yes, it is. It's awesome to be back. Yeah, you're in town visiting family and yeah. uh, coming up next, our dance troupe is here from Joy Emotion. You you danced there as well. As yeah, I, I, I did dance with them and, and I had a great time growing up here and performing here and it's right. awesome to be back. So now you're in LA. You're this huge star. We just <laughs> mentioned a list of some of the TV shows that you've been on. You've been on a lot. But now you're also doing the video games. What is that like? What's the transition been like for you? Um, it's been really interesting, actually, because it kind of took me back to my roots, which has always been in theater and on mm -hmm. stage. And when you're doing performance capture, you don't really have a set or wardrobe or a location or anything. You're kind of just playing make-believe with a bunch of equipment around you. Mm -hmm. and, and so for me, that really took me back to my, my stage days when I lived here. So in this particular one, first of all, you're the first female lead for Call of Duty. What was that like? Did you feel any kind of pressure or did you think to yourself, okay, I've got this, I can do this? And like um, I felt super excited. I also, you know, it's a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I'm representing the franchise in an authentic way. I want to make sure that I'm representing women in an authentic way mm -hmm. and, and also women in the military and our military in general, kind of getting all of that right definitely adds a little bit of pressure, but it makes it super exciting and I feel an awesome sense of pride and responsibility over those things. So this isn't your first time doing a game. The first time around uh, Kill Zone, yeah. you were just voicing it, but this time around it's a little different. Explain how it's different doing Call of Duty. Yeah, with Kill Zone, you know, we did we did motion capture and we did voiceover, but in this case we did performance capture, which means they're actually recording my face, my voice, and all of my movements all at the same time. Okay. And then all of that is dropped into the digital likeness of my character. So, you know, it's a little bit more involved. You have a camera sitting four inches from your face and little yeah. microphones kind of dangling around right. and try not to Velcro to your scene partner because you're all in these Velcro vests. Um, so so it's the definitely, itched your nose, it, it records all of Oh, that? yeah, you've got little dots in your face so they can see every movement that your face makes and then oh that is gosh. completely replicated in the game. Wow, so now is this true to Jamie Hyder when you watch the game? Is this who you are? You know, like, I, I do move like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I had to work a little bit when we did our Navy SEAL training and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm very long, so we had to right. make sure I looked very compact and, and kind of had the correct body language as I'm moving through the game. So I had okay. to drop some of my my isms and my habits, but you know, there's definitely a little Jamie in there. She's a little, she's stubborn like I am and yeah. a little rough around the edges sometimes. What was the training like? Because you worked with some guys from Homeland right? Yes, yeah, so David Harewood was one of my castmates, mm -hmm. and all of us did military training together. We all learned how to move properly as a military unit, learned how okay. to clear rooms, take down doors. It was really important for us to form that bond so that it really translated when you played the game. That was super important to our director, Taylor mm -hmm. Kurosaki, and our writer, Brian Bloom. They really wanted them, the players, to feel a sense of ensemble with the people they're playing with and for. How difficult is that? Because we see, for example, because we just mentioned dance, we see like the Rockettes, and formation is so important. Important. You see people like Beyonce and you talk about formation. How hard is it when that's not your natural instinct to be in line with somebody else and you have to knock down a door with like three other people that, you know, it's one thing to like hug them or kiss them or make a joke with them in a, in a scene, but mm -hmm. now you actually have to move with them at the same time. You know, it's that is probably where you feel the most pressure because you really feel like you have to honor our Navy SEALs and you have to honor our sailors and our Marines mm -hmm. and all of our armed forces. We want the people who are watching it to say, yes, that looks believable. So yeah, you have to drop a lot of your own mannerisms and make sure that everything you're doing is clean and efficient and, mm -hmm. and you've got your Navy SEAL instructor sitting right there watching you and saying, do it again. That right. wasn't right, you know? So you have to make sure you get it right. When did you move out to LA? I've been in LA um, about eight years exactly Wow. Now. So you went from here, you went to school here in Falls Church, is that correct? Um, I went to high school at Jeb Stewart High School okay. um, here in Falls Church, and then I went to college at University of Georgia and got my degree in theater and film studies, did some more theater here locally, and then mm -hmm. decided I wanted to make the move to film and television, and unbeknownst to me at the time, video games. Right. So um, I went out to L.A. and, you know, did the grind, and, and you know, it never ends. <laughs> is it easier to do the video games or the theater work and the screen work? What do you what do you find or do you have a preference? I don't for me it's just about the work and having those opportunities and, mm -hmm. and you take from each 
you learn so much from each opportunity that you have. So, right. you know, ch the video game presents certain challenges, you know, and then film and television have other challenges that you kind of have to surmount. I, I prefer all of it. Yeah. <laughs> if I get to work, I'm happy. Right, of um, And so with video games, it's kind of like going back to playing make-believe in your backyard. Okay. You know, because you kind of establish where everything is in the room, but none of it's actually there in front of you. So you just have to sort of move around as if you were actually in the space, and it's kind of like being in a backyard and saying, this is lava, and this is base over right. here, and you just okay. commit it to memory and play imagination. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit because I know mom and dad are here. They're in our studio <laughs> right now. So not necessarily with the game, but in some of the TV roles that you've played, you know, you have to kiss other people. <laughs> and you may be, you know, seductively dressed, you know. <laughs> How does dad feel about that? You know, uh, my family's been a good sport. They kind of yeah. knew that there were certain things that would come with it. Um, right. You know, I always take into consideration their opinions and everything, but when right. it comes down to it, it's my job, and there are certain parts of it that, that maybe seem a little risque for everyday life, right. but I've been lucky that my whole life, my mom and my dad and my sister have always been super supportive, and, Good. you know, sometimes there has to be a little tough conversation here and there. Maybe <laughs> you don't watch this, or, you know, you dad, don't watch this. Dad, cover your eyes. Yeah, there's, there's a few disclaimers here and there, mm -hmm. but they're, they're good sports. So what's next for you? Well, right now, um, I'm, you know, back to the audition grind, you know, okay. it doesn't really matter how much you work, that's kind of always a part of it. So, Absolutely. So, okay. you know, I, I've been had a great time promoting the game and, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited to continue auditioning and see what's next. Your guess is as good as mine. All right, so Call of Duty and when can we get it? Where can we get it? How um, do we get it? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is already out okay. um, and you can get it in stores, online. Great um, Christmas gift. Great Christmas <laughs> gift, yes. I'm currently playing through it myself. It'll probably take me another couple weeks. But, really? Wow. <laughs> but okay. I'll get there. Okay, well, thank you, Jamie. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks so much for having Next me. Next time you're back in town, make sure you stop by and say hi. I definitely will. And bring mom and dad too. <laughs> All right, guys, if you get to try out the new game, let me know what you think. Go ahead and tweet me at the Julie Wright and, of course, at JG Hyder. They said that right, JG Hyder, yeah. uh, of course, on Twitter, because we'd love to hear from you and get your opinions. All right, guys, uh, we are tossing it to break, or we, we're tossing it to break, and we're going to come back with a performance from our friends over at Joy of Dance. Who knows, maybe Jamie will join in since she was there once before as a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> More of Good Morning Washington coming up right after the break.